So yesterday we talked about the fact that math is figure out, right? And I think that you saw some, for instances, some examples in your individual session yesterday about what that means. You're going to learn a ton more today in the next couple days about what it means that math is figure outable, what parts of math are figure outable. Um, today I want to uh, zone in a little bit on a, a part of that, and I'm going to get a little bit, just for a minute, a little bit of uh, psycho battle here from the university perspective. If we talk about Piaget, so Jean Piaget was a French guy who did a lot of um, investigation in how we learn the learning theory, and you may remember that from your, what, ed psych classes, some in the Alright, so I, I want you to focus on just a part of Piaget that I find really helpful in teaching. Really helpful, so no fall asleep. I find it really helpful to think about this part of Piaget. So he talks about types of knowledge. He talks about a few types of knowledge, but two of them I feel really pertinent to our investigation here of teaching mathematics. So one of those types he calls social knowledge. What does that mean? We're going to talk about that. One of these types he calls logical mathematical knowledge, logical thinking. The, the, the idea that we can construct mathematical, logical knowledge inside of us. So I want to talk about those two differences. What does it mean to think about social knowledge, and what does it mean to think about this logical, mathematical knowledge? So social knowledge is the part of the stuff that we have to memorize. Remember I just said that math is figure outable, not memorizable, or at least not as memorizable as we thought it was. So there are parts, there are social knowledge parts of mathematics that must be memorized. But I said yesterday that out of the set of mathematics to learn, the set of things that needs to be memorized is much smaller than we ever thought it was. So I'd like to actually investigate today, what are things in that set that need to be memorized, and what are the rest of things, and then how do we develop and construct the rest of that stuff, if in reality there's really this only this small set that is social knowledge. Because the rest of it, logical mathematical knowledge, needs to be constructed from the inside out so that we really understand it and we own it, because then we can use it to do more mathematics. I want to give you an example. So I was always fairly good at math. It was kind of a social thing for me, like a stigma in class. I, I went one around the world, you know, it made me happy. Some of you are like irritated at me right now because you didn't like around the world. My husband hated around the world. Like, I mentioned around the world, and he leaves the room, so I don't want to talk about it. Um, when, we, when we were first married, he, uh, at BYU, we both went to BYU, that's where we met, you have to either take um, one semester of college algebra and a, and a statistics class, or you have to take four, uh, no, four, yes, one semester of college algebra and statistics, or four semesters of a foreign language. He took Russian. <laughs> because he had no desire whatsoever to step inside of a math class. So the guy took four semesters of Russian to get out of taking math. This is the guy in here. So he, math is not his friend. He doesn't like mathematics. He, he never, well, I shouldn't say now, now he's better, but he, for, for sure he didn't like mathematics at all. To the point where, um, before he graduated, at BYU you had to either have such a score on your ACT in math, or you had to take this remedial class for no credit to be able to graduate. His last semester, he's taking the non-credit I have to take this class to graduate class and cursing the entire way through. I can't believe this is so stupid. I hate this. I'm like, hey, this is what I do. This is who I am. I teach mathematics. Can you just like not curse through the course? You know, and you're waiting until your last semester to take. So from his perspective and my perspective, we saw mathematics slightly differently. I was really excited about being able to memorize that stuff and know the steps to do. And I could look at a problem and go, Hey, I think it must be this series of steps. And that, that it, it sort of filled an inch in my life, and I, I was excited. So because of that, when I was in seventh grade, I decided to join the math club. Yeah, it would be fun, right? A social place I could fit in. I know that sounds totally nerdy, but yeah. You know, I, I was looking for a place to fit in because I really didn't anywhere else. Anyway, so here I go to the math club, and I walk in, and I sit down all prepared with my sharpened pencil ready to go, and they handed me this set of problems. And I was like, okay, what do you want me to do? He says, well, you know, we're just going to kind of work through these, and then we'll kind of share what we did and everything. So I looked at the first problem. I'd never seen that one before. I, I was pulling from memory, you know, if I'd seen that one, I would know which algorithm to use and what steps to, I hadn't seen that one, so naturally, they haven't taught me that yet. I'll skip to the next one. I don't know if you've ever been to the math club, but the math club literally gives you some sort of non-traditional problems that don't have a set way to solve them. That wasn't mathematics to me. So I went to the next one, had never seen that one. Went to the next one, had never seen, uh, there's a pattern here. I was catching on to the pattern, and so I raised my hand and I said, you know what, you haven't taught me how to do these yet. If you'll teach me how to do them, I will happily repeat many of them. You know, I will, I will regurgitate how to do these problems. And the math coach said, oh yeah, that's not what we do here. We just sort of work through them using what we know. I didn't know. 
right? I had no, I had no memory to pull on, and that was my only perspective for math. So I stood up, I said, thanks so much, and walked out. I was done, I never walked back. It, it didn't make any sense to me, because to me, math was social knowledge. And if you told it to me, then I would be able to regurgitate it and spit it back out. It didn't make sense to me that it was logical mathematical. If I constructed relationships, I could actually use them to solve problems. Now I sort of get that. I would love to help you see that a little bit more like I see now.